Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am back today for Fashion Friday, which I host here on my channel. And joining me is my beautiful Ocean, my big boy, my full body silicone. Love this boy so much. I really do. I did all of his art, so I reborned him. He's just not rooted yet. I will get to the rooting but he's got beautiful glass blue eyes and he is just stunning and such a heavy floppy baby. I definitely want to do armatures in his arms and all that, but he is an amazing baby and I love him so much. We're going to get him into a cute outfit for Fashion Friday, but we're going to start with God. I hope all of you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Again, I'm pre-recording all these videos, so it's not even Thanksgiving yet for me, but when you get it, it's past Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody was safe, ha um, happy, and healthy. I'm going to go ahead and do our uh, devotional, Billy Graham, Wisdom for Each Day. And today, what we're on is November 24th, and it's called The Right Attitude. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name, First Chronicles 29:13 The pilgrim fathers who landed at Plymouth to settle it or to settle in what became the United States of America can teach us an important lesson about giving thanks. During that first long winter, seven times as many graves were made for the dead as homes were made for the living. Seed um for the living seed important from England failed to grow. Let me reread that and put the spots in there that need to be. During the first long winter, seven times as many graves were made for the dead as homes were made for the living. Seed, important from England, fell to grow. And a ship that was to bring food and relief, um, and relief brought instead 35 more mouths to feed, but no provision. Some pilgrims caught fish and others um, hunted wild fowl and deer. They had a little English flower and some Indian corn. Yet William uh, Brewster, raising from a scanty dinner of clams and water, gave thanks to God for the abundance of the sea and the treasure hid in the sand. According to today's standards, the pilgrims had almost nothing, but they um, possessed a profound and heartfelt gratitude to God for his love and mercy. Gratitude is one of the greatest Christian virtues. Ingratitude, one of the most uh, vicious sins. Our English words th uh, think and think come, our English words think and think come from the same word. If we'll stop to think, we'll be more thankful. Wow, you guys, just think of what the pilgrims went through, you know, and, and I, boy, I love to live in America, the United States of America. I feel so honored to live here, and it's just such a great place to live and all of that, even though things still go wrong. But wow, what went on during that time with the pilgrims, and yet they still thanked God for his love and mercy. And I love the ending where it says, gratitude is one of the greatest Christian virtues Ingratitude, one of the most vicious sins, you guys. Vicious sins. Ingratitude. We need to have gratitude. Um, we need to be thankful for so much. Not just on Thanksgiving. We need to thank God daily for waking us up, giving us food, clothes, a bed, a roof over our head. If you have those things, some people don't. Some people are homeless. Um, we need to pray for those people. But we need to thank God if we have those things. We need to thank him. They are not handed to us on a silver platter. We need to be thankful just for the simple fact that he woke us up. You know, and, and people always tend to not even think of that. And look at these people. They weren't even getting the food they needed, but they were still thanking God. So even if you don't have food to eat today, still thank God. Because God will come through. He will answer prayer and he will get you there. Even homeless people, I see somehow, some way get something. But there are people, yes, that are homeless, that are very sad, that don't get the things they need. Look at those people as an angel and help them, you guys. Help them. Because even if they're not and they're fake, God sees that. He sees what you're doing. So help the homeless. If you have a home, give them the, you know, the few dollars you have in your pocket. Give them what you can. I'm sorry, you guys, I had a little bit of air. 
Give them what is deserved, you know, because it could be an angel standing there. God could be testing you, you know, to see if you have that rough food, clothes in a bed. Would you give it to somebody else? We need to always be giving in. Would you be willing to give everything up in your life to walk with Jesus? Boy, I would in a heartbeat. I'd, you know, if Jesus was standing right here and said, give all this up and walk with me in a heartbeat, I would. I would. Um, I love God and I love being a Christian. I make plenty of mistakes and I love my merciful um, loving Heavenly Father, because He loves me even in my sinful ways, which happens every day. I may have the name Angel, but I am no angel. I make mistakes, and I live in a glass house just like every one of you, and I make mistakes, but I'm grateful to God that He loves me with an unconditional love, and we need to have that love, um, and we need to think about those two words um, of the greatest, um, is one of the Christian virtues, ingratitude, one of the most vicious sins. We need to remember that, you guys. Our wisdom for today is, is um, it's called, it's easy to think of the things we wish we had or to become over overly interested in the blessings that someone else is enjoying, like I just said. Help us instead, Father, to see all that we are, we've been given as gifts and see you are the giver of all good things. So yes, we shouldn't have a jealousy in us, which we're human, we do. But we shouldn't be jealous of what the things people have and that we don't have. In fact, there was a baby I really wanted that um, is gone now. I wanted it so bad. I prayed about it, but I didn't get it. Somebody else did. But that's okay. I have plenty of babies. It was just a special one I wanted for the holidays. My husband wanted to get it for me for Christmas. And, um, you know, it fell through and um, somebody else got it. But you know what? I'm grateful and thankful that that person got that baby. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm still planning to try to get one of those babies. Um, but... Obviously, God said it wasn't for you. It's for this person. So I'm grateful that person got it, and I need to be thankful. Am I sad? Yeah, I'm very sad. I was crying last night about it because I wanted it so bad, and I had a feeling it was going to go today, and it even got dropped a um, 100 bucks off of it, and we still couldn't afford it. But that's okay. I have plenty of them, and it's not what God had for me. My husband said, pray about it. I did, and it didn't happen. So, you know, God said, nope, that wasn't the one for you. So that's okay. I'm grateful, like I said, for everything I have. I'm grateful he woke me up today. I'm grateful I have food, clothes, and a bed to sleep in. I'm grateful for those things and a roof over my head. I am very grateful for those things. And I'm grateful for Ocean. He's a beautiful baby, and I'm grateful for him. He's one of those budget babies online. Um, he still is a little bit more expensive than the other ones because he is bigger. But one day I plan to do a version of him and a boy or a girl. I'm not sure. I see this one more as a boy, but I've seen it as a girl. It's very cute. So I plan one day to um, do this one as well and put it up. Um, letting you guys know, I do have an Etsy store. So my baby will go up into the Etsy store, the one I get up for sale when you guys see it hopefully next week. Um, I will tell you my Etsy store then. I do have an Etsy store now. Um, and that's where I'm going to be placing the babies along with on here and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just grateful for God that he's helping me along with this business. And slowly but surely it is, um, you know, bringing joy to a lot of people, and I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for Ocean. Yes, I am. So uh, let's be thankful. The right attitude. We need to have the right attitude in life. The right attitude, you guys. And then we need to start our day, go through our day, and end our day right here with Life's Manual. This is the manual of life. Let's read it, study it, honor it, obey it, and live by it. No good if you just read it, right? Blow off that dust, and let's pick it up and read it. And Angel, I'm telling you this, girl. Get to your reading. I'm still on the same day, you guys, from... Tuesday through, or Wednesday through this same day, but I'm telling myself I need to read, so I'm going to try to get some reading in for God today. Not try, I'm going to. I need to. You know, we if we can't give 10 minutes to God, what, you know, what are we, what are we doing then? If we can't even give 10 minutes to God for what he did for us and what he does for us on a daily basis, think of the times he saved us, and we won't know until we get to heaven, all these angels that have saved us from harm. God has saved us, and he'll tell you one day about that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading today. And now we're going to get on to Ocean. And I hope he's looking up at you guys. I can't tell because I can't see through here um, his face. But hopefully he's looking. I can see he's lined up right, but I can't see if he's looking directly at you. But if he is, yes, he's sweet. My sweet big baby boy. Got a little Tommy tipper here prop. Just a bottle prop. We're going to put Ocean in this cute outfit for Fashion Friday. He's going to be the fashion one today. And it's called Grandma's Little Love. And uh, yes, Grandma would love to see this. My mom would love to see this on him. But all you grandmas out there, we're going to put Grandma's Little Love on this one. And it is a Tahari baby. It is a onesie. And I do believe uh, Jaden bought me this um, a ways back when he was here visiting last um, September. And it came with these pants here. 
And the size on it is a six to nine months, so a little bit big, but I did put it on my Christian, which is my um, uh, baby I got through Jaden, my full body silicone. And um, he's the Matei sculpt. Um, this is what he had bought for him. It's a little bit big, but it'll go good on him because he's a pretty big baby. He's actually 12 pounds and 21 inches long, I believe. So he is a little bit bigger, but regardless, it fit him and it was just a little bit big. So we're going to put this on him. Light baby blue with navy blue stars. This was a um, dust, uh, like a dusty blue with white writing, Grandma's Little Love. It came with a matching hat and it's got the knot in it. And then we're going to put these socks on to say, I love mommy. Because if it says, I, you know, Grandma's Little Love, we got I love mommy because he's mama's boy. I love my boy babies. I'm a boy mom. And then we're going to put these little tennis shoes on them. They're brand new. Uh, they are a zero to three. Hopefully they'll fit. They might be a little big, but we're going to put these on him. And it should be a cute outfit since they have the navy blue and white in it. Can I have your nook, buddy? Say you won't need any other nook. You can have that one and let me have your palm puppy. Say he's so into that light, he could care less, right? He could care less. So all you new people on here, I'll kind of show you his art as I undress him. Uh, hopefully you can see him good on uh, how floppy he is. I'll show you that how floppy he is. I love these onesies. I actually sold a few of these in my cell that I did my baby cell. I had a gold one and um, I, I think I had a cream one too. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, I have the black one here that fit him. And then I also just have that other cream one that I did on my uh, Thomas on Wednesday. Um, he had that cream one on and we took that one off of him. But I love these jumpers. They're the uh, modern moments, I believe they are from Walmart and I love them. They're just perfect one piece outfits. Look at how beautiful this baby is. Look at his mottling. Look at um his you know his uh blushing, his creases, his nail beds. Look at these beautiful nails and all of the coloration there. I hope you guys can see this his toes. Look at how beautiful his toes are in the nail beds and the bottom of his feet, all the creases. He has a toe prick um because I when I did it I wasn't realizing that this is um, you know, something that's done for newborn babies. But then I realized that he could be a newborn baby because my brother was this size when he was born. And Dee from the baby patch said she was a very big baby. See, I like to be able to pick the babies up like that. Hi. Hi, are you looking at mommy now? Yeah, with those big blue eyes. Yeah, the color of the ocean. Yeah, you got ocean blue eyes. Yes, you do. And say, that's your name, buddy. Yeah. Can we lift you up a little bit? Look at how floppy you are. Yes. Mwah. I love you so much. Mwah. I don't think I had to open his mouth. I think he came with an open... Oh, no, I did have to open his mouth. But he's got the little tongue in there. But I did open his mouth. But I just want to show you guys how floppy this baby is. I am holding him. Don't worry. But look at how floppy he is. And so heavy. He is so heavy. Look at that face. Look at him. Oh, he's so beautiful. And all the mottling and blemishes he has. Oh, just a beautiful baby. There's his arms. The mottling on the legs. Um, and I gave him little spots on him. And I forget the name of what it was called now. Uh, but I'll put it up there on the screen what I called it. Um, I gave him those little spots because I like realism when I'm doing babies. I like the um, to give them things that really you know happen in life. And it's something um, babies can get and they grow out of it. But it's like almost like a rash type thing that they get. And I wanted him to have that. And I love it. Isn't he gorgeous sitting there? You guys, I hope he's looking at you. Oh, so cute, little guy. You're so cute. Yes, he is. And I love it. Like I said, I eventually will do this baby um, because I know there's people out there that like the bigger babies. Well, most people like the newborn's size. He would be more of a zero to three month size. Um, and so like a three month baby. So, I mean, not zero to three, like a three month baby. But um, I'm you know, having him like as a newborn, like I said, because of the toe prick on it, but that's okay. I mean, the heel prick on it, but that's okay, you guys, that I did that because I wasn't realizing that it is a newborn thing. And I thought, well, my brother was this big, so he could be a newborn baby too. Yeah. Even though he's so big. Yeah. He's so big. Boy, rooting on you is going to take a long time because you have such a big head. Yes. You have such a big head. I will be rooting him, you guys. Being an older baby, I want to root him. Um, but even though he does look cute bald, I still, the rooting gives him the more realism, which there are babies that are bald for months and months and months and literally just have baby fine hair. And that's my favorite, or they have no hair. My nephew didn't have hair till he was almost a year. Literally he was bald, bald for at least six months of his life before he even started getting peach fuzz, like literally just peach fuzz coming in. He was a blonde. Um, but yeah, some babies just don't. So he could be a baby that doesn't have anything yet. Maybe just give him a little bit of peach fuzz, but we are going to give him hair. 
Yes, say for sure mama's going to give you hair, but it's going to take a long time to root that big head. Yes, it is. And mommy's got lots of work going on, so we got to keep you bald for a little bit. Um, just trying to be gentle with him. Uh, I don't like, like I said, I don't like to lift him like that. I like to lift him like that. I don't like to lift him by his head, as I wouldn't do that with a real baby. And yeah, we're supposed to treat you like a real one, even though we know you're not real. I'm not real. Plug the ears, right? Don't listen to that when I say that. <laughs> No, we know these aren't real babies, but we love them like they are. And he is grumpy. He looks grumpy. Did you get grumpy when I said that? Did you get grumpy when mommy said that you are not real? Say, yes, I am real, mama. Yes, I am real. Yes, I am. Mwah. Love you, beautiful boy. You look up at all the people up there. Yeah. You look at them while mommy changes you. Boy, that fit him good. So this is going to be better on him than it was on Christian because he is bigger. And this is, like I said, a three to six. <laughs> so very easy to find clothes for this baby. He would be zero to three. He definitely wears zero to three to three to six. That's what this is, is three to six. And watch how it fits him, you guys. So you will know that you will be able to get clothes because what's the hardest to get for babies is preemie. Preemie is the hardest to get for babies. And then, um, uh, you know, newborns, not as hard. That's a lot easier to get newborn. But especially when you're getting bigger, when you're getting up to the zero to three, and the three to six. Oh, that gets so much easier. Look at these fit him so good. Oh my goodness, is that cute on you. But let's make sure it says grandma's little love and they can see that. And then we'll get your hat on. And the blue is looking so good. Even the hat fits him better than it did because his head is so big. Oh, I just love his size. I have got to do this baby for sale for you guys. Not um, And of course, I'm going to want to root him, like I said, for a cell baby. So that's going to take a long time to root that one. Uh, but I would do it probably more baby fine. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, he is a joy. Oh, my gosh. Let's give you the baba. Yeah, let's give you the baba. Let's put your nookie. We'll just set it right there. And we'll get your little shoes on. Because last time we forgot to put shoes on the baby. Yeah, we forgot last time to put the shoes on one of the babies that I said. On Robbie. Yeah, my Gucci baby. But we did it for the photos. So these are brand new. So we're just breaking the little snap on him and put him on him. But isn't he adorable? You guys, look at him in the blue with his blue eyes. Oh, he looks so cute. Are these going to be big on you? Let's see. You know what? I'm going to keep the paper in it. It's got the paper in it. We'll keep the paper in it, and then they're going to fit him fine. We'll just keep the paper in. They are a little bit big. These are zero to three, um, so he probably would wear newborn size. Um, I have the paper in it. It looks fine, but they look okay because he's such a big baby, so they look fine. They don't look like, you know, abnormal on him. Um, but I'm going to keep the paper in it just so that they do fit good on him. Uh, as all those shoes come with the paper in it. And that way you can sometimes leave it in there to fit a baby much better, you know. And sometimes you forget it's in there and you're like, why won't this shoe go on? But this one went on perfectly. Look at that, you guys. Look at that outfit on him. Amazing. Amazing. And I hope he is looking directly at you guys. Like I said, I try to set them up so that they are looking at the camera. I hope he is. But regardless, he is stunning. Let's go up and back down just a little bit so he's in there even better uh, for you guys. But, oh, my gosh, he's gorgeous. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, I love you. i got to give you one more kiss. Mwah! And I love the way I've been setting this up so you guys can see him good. Now, he is going to blow you guys a kiss. And he says, how do I look for for Fashion Friday, let me blow you guys a kiss. Mwah. Say, ain't I handsome, everybody? Don't I look good for Fashion Friday? My mommy's a fashion queen, and she gets all of us babies so fashionable. And I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember that God loves you the most. And little Ocean here loves God. He loves his mommy for sure. Daddy, all his aunties and uncles out there, grandmas and grandpas out there, and all his little cousins. All right, you guys, everybody take care. God bless. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back in tomorrow. Take care and God bless.